time to wake up. This is what you need. Entertaining and educating. It's Kenny Klein TV. Tune in, please don't delay. Entertaining what we educate. This is what you need. Hey, Kenny Klein TV. Let's go. What is going on, guys? I hope everyone is having a great day. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are coming back, welcome back. And if you have yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do that. All right, so today we are taking a look at Nick's audits. Now, in this video, our good buddy Nick, well, I really wouldn't call him a good buddy, but Nick decides apparently he's going to a um, post office. Now, he doesn't really show any of the interaction that happened inside the post office, what led up to what you guys are about to see. But apparently, whatever was going on inside, they really didn't appreciate it. You guys can imagine what that could be like, I'm sure. And it picks up with the police already being on the scene. And that is where we will pick it up and see how things go. Good morning, Eagle Nick Solis. We're outside and we have a police officer. Okay. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Oh, we have oh, a funeral. So, are you here for the funeral or are you here for the man with the camera? I have no idea. They call in about you. Is that what it is? If you're here about a call, are you here about a suspicious person? Well, I'm here about somebody cursing and yelling. I, at I saw a suspicious, per a suspicious person. Okay. There was this guy came out the other door there. He was three foot tall, six foot wide. He had two noses, and he was farting lasers. So if you see him, I would look out. I'm pretty, that's a pretty uh, amazing description. Right yes, sir. There. That's why he won't be hard to find. Right, right. You know anything about what's going on in here? Uh, yes, sir. I'm doing a return third visit on my First Amendment audit. Yes, sir. That's, That's all, all it is. I don't answer questions other than that. All right, perfect. Can I get your name and badge number yes, since you en Cruz. engaged me? Yes, sir. Officer Cruz, badge number 634. Yeah, may I get Thank your name you. and badge hey, number? Bishop don't get so close on me, sir. You do not have to get on top of me. You're right. You're right. I yes, know. sir. So here's the situation. Okay. Sir, uh, the situation is I'm standing here with a camera. Yep. I'm doing a continuation of my First Amendment audit, which is protected under the First right. Amendment of the United States Constitution. Right. You're right. It is yes, protected. sir, I know it is. I've been right. to it. I audited them on let the me, night. Let me explain to you. I've not been All cursing. Right. Your constitutional right for First Amendment does not mean that you can disrupt I was not disrupting. Okay. I was off the side, sir. You were disrupting. I've got the video right here. No, sir. So, the post office has asked for you to be trespassed from this location. Ha <laughs> ha! So, you understand what that means. So, being trespassed from this location, if you return, you will then go to jail for criminal trespass. Okay, uh, let me, let me nope. state this, nope. sir. Nope. If you I am trespassed from public property, if I am trespassed from public property, that is a violation of my constitutional rights. Which and I It's false. No way. Not this time. I don't know where they get this notion that you cannot be trespassed from public property property people are trespassed from public property all the time there are people that are banned from going to parks and things like this because they are doing stupid things right um if, if you violate the law if you violate if you're causing a disturbance if you're causing a scene you can be trespassed from public property it's not that hard it's not a foreign concept i will sue okay. sir this Which is the public sir can i get your name and Which badge number right is that from being trespassed Officer i Anderson, am performing a first amendment protected activity okay. which is freedom of the press okay freedom of the press yes but sir you're now trespassed from the post office so if you do not leave you will then go to jail for criminal I will, I will when I'm done with my story, okay. which will be any time now. You are at 
It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. But like I said, sir. Okay. You have been asked to leave. Yes, sir. All right. So once you've been asked to leave, you've been trespassed from this location. You don't want I to believe there's supposed to be paperwork. There's not supposed to there, be paperwork with that. Do you have an ID so then we can do I do reports? not answer questions. That is my Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate myself. Fourth Amendment, I All do right. not have to identify so myself. Apparently, you don't understand the Fifth Amendment because the Fifth Amendment doesn't have anything to do with presenting... Fourth your... Amendment says I do not have to present ID. Right? So Fifth Amendment no. says I don't have to say nothing. All right. So here's the situation. Uh, obviously, you need to go back and refresh your memory. Well, I'm not on a game show. I don't care about situations. Right. You've been asked to leave. I, I will, sir. And now you're trespassed from here. Do you understand that? I understand, you understand what you, you think it means. Bless his heart. Okay. I would like to know how you think that you can trespass somebody from public property. Okay. The public post public office does public. not own this, sir. I then had to run in when I audited on February the 9th with our postmaster. I had two police officers come up. Okay. And now, because you've been threatening? I've not made no threats. I got it right here. Okay, look, you've sir. You've threatening. You've said threatening. You're letters. making false statements, and so is whoever said I made a threat. I got it all right here. The camera don't lie. But. So now you've been People do. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I understand okay. that. Do you understand that? I understand that. that. Go to jail I understand. Trespass. I understand that. Yes, sir. I understand that I'm having my constitutional okay. rights violated. So you've been trespassed. And I you've will leave. All right. And, sir, I'd like to thank you for your service. Right. And listen, sir, when I go, listen, stop. I would like to say something before you take off, sir. I will be at the, uh, up here at the City Hall on the 19th. To meet with the chief again. I've done met him, sir. You have a blessed day. Talk all that trash. Trespass. Can't trespass somebody you don't know their name, does Well, I guess when you get trespassed, you have to call a victory wherever you think you can call a victory. And apparently to this guy, not giving his name was a victory, I, I suppose, kind of, but not really. When you really think about it, okay, so if he's not getting trespassed and he can't get trespassed, then him leaving is kind of a fail, it isn't it? It's pretty much a fail because he's leaving because they told him to. He's allowing them to supposedly violate his rights. It's amazing how many auditors do this. C could you imagine if other civil rights activists, if other um, protesters decided, you know what? There's a possibility that they're going to wrong me, and I'm just going to allow them to do it. Things would never change. So it almost brings in a question, do they want things to change? Are they just scared of going to jail? Do they not want to go through the legal system in order to get things changed? I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you guys Think. I thought the uh, police handled this situation great. Um, trespassed the guy. The guy just was a dummy. Anyway, let me know what you think. All right, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And we will see you again in another video. Peace. We've only just been.